Okay, so it's time to do another fake Lego minifigures review and this time it's going to be Knights. So, standard policy applies, meaning I will do one unique figure and the bonus figure and everything else I will do in um, sort of speed up footage. So, let's try these two guys. Apparently this is a ripoff of the old um, Lego medieval series where, where they had the uh, Lion Knights and as you can see they managed to copy the logos used. Um, Again, one thing to mention, the, the quality is good. Strange that they painted this part of the body and then just... <clears throat> excuse me. They gave us armor to put on the, the knight, so... Huh. Indeed strange. So, yeah, as I said, quality of the plastic is, um, is good. Um... Thoroughly surprised by this, to be honest. They do have the same kind of helmets like the Teutonic Knights, but they have the, the feather now. So this is something different. Also, it seems to be like they, they have two weapons for some reason. I don't know why, but at least this guy has two weapons. And let's put his hands on. Okay. Okay, so we get a ton of knights and one in particular that is in gold. I suppose that that's the king. Okay, so helmet on and he has two swords. <laughs> Interesting. Strange that you cannot... He can either wield one sword and a shield, or um, two swords. So this is what the minifigure looks like. As I, I said, the paint job is pretty good. Uh, detail is nice. Articulation is good. Hands are good. Plastic is fairly good. So yeah, just. It's pretty good figurine for the the price to be honest okay let's put the shield on even the props are nice even the props are pretty good quality painted and manufactured from real nice materials so yeah um this one this one is good I like it so okay let's see next Next, what do we have next? Mm, the king. All right. So the king has everything else that the knight had, but has a motorcycle helmet, <laughs> apparently. Oh no, wait, it's, it's a helm. With a visor. Okay, nice. Nice. So, let's, let's make the helm. Again, pretty nice quality plastics. I'm fairly surprised. Everything is done very well. As you can see, quality is good. Okay, so we need to put the hands. Uh, well, arms first, of course, and then hands. Okay. So, oh, they always come with two weapons, it would seem. <laughs> that's nice. Okay, so that's the king. Um, let's just put his hands on. 
Okay, and then this one. Okay, and then let's put a, a shield in his hand and then Okay, so as I said minifigure it's pretty good props are nice articulation is nice plastic is okay Pink job is uh, fairly good as well. So yeah, this is this is pretty good. I am very pleasantly surprised. One thing they're missing is they don't have bases. The previous uh, platoon of Teutonic Knights had bases, and these guys do not for some reason. So hmm, strange. All right, I'll proceed with. Constructing the entire army, but I'll speed up the process so you don't have to watch like a 30 minutes video. So yeah, talk to you, talk to you after the process is done, after the <laughs> after the the army is constructed.
do I think? Well, again, pleasantly surprised. Uh, I like that they put an effort into it. The paint job is great. Plastic feels really nice. It's not up to LEGO standards, but again, it's pretty close. Um, figurines are, are well made, well designed. So yeah, I would totally rec recommend those. They're, they're really nice. And for the money you give, a total deal for sure so yeah um <laughs> they're good and you can probably buy them if you need something like that so yeah that's it bye